what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about whether or not armor in call of duty black ops 4's blackout mode is actually overpowered if you guys aren't familiar with how armor works in black ops 4's blackout mode essentially what it does is reduce the amount of damage that you take from bullets and explosions by a certain percentage now this armor does break the more that it takes damage but it also comes in three different tiers each being more resilient as you go up the ladder pairing armor with another piece of equipment called trauma kit makes your character have a ton of extra health and just soak up damage like nothing we've ever seen in a call of duty game before besides the juggernaut kill streak in modern warfare 3. so i wanted to give you guys some numbers just to give you an idea of how powerful armor is in blackout real quick before we jump into this i just want to mention that trauma kit what it does is it refills your character up to max health and then gives you 50 extra health so if you are down to one uh, if you're down to 10 health and use a trauma kit you instantly have 200 because 150 is the starting amount so what that means is anybody who uses a trauma kit even at max health will get 50 extra health no matter what so you could really be running around with 200 health and pairing that with with armor makes it even more powerful because now that 50 extra health turns into way more in the fact that you take a percentage less damage so let's go over the tiers of armor uh level one body armor reduces the amount of damage you take by 40 percent which is crazy like that is super super powerful that in any battle royale it's just it's a really really good piece of equipment 40 percent instant reduction in damage with absolutely no downside no drawbacks anything like that all you have to do is get lucky enough to find it and you instantly take 40 percent less damage what's crazy is that level two body armor actually reduces damage you take by 50 percent which is insane that cuts everything in half any damage you take is cut in half regardless and at the time of the blackout beta launch the level three body armor reduced damage by 65 percent so it didn't go up to 60 it went up to 65 because 60 is just not enough let's make it 65 right so i say that at the beginning of the blackout beta because it does sign it does seem like they actually reduced this in a recent update to the beta so what they or and originally said was that they tweaked armor so that way it takes more um explosive damage for tier three uh, i guess what was happening is tier one and two were working fine but tier three wasn't it was kind of glitched in that it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do with explosive damage giving you an even bigger advantage than treyarch intended so they tweaked that but then they also said that they uh lowered its effectiveness slightly so what i'm thinking is that they lowered it to 60 percent which makes sense uh, and they didn't give us any numbers in the patch notes as of the time of recording this. Um, but when everybody was complaining about armor when this first came out, Treyarch said that they were being very careful with it. And they wanted to wait until they got a lot more data before they started to tweak anything in the game. So with that being said, it sounds like Treyarch is hesitant to do too many giant changes uh, to the armor system. Which leads me to believe that they only decreased it by 5% at most uh when tweaking tier three body armor again it sounds like that would make the most sense because then it puts it right in line with tier one and two meaning a 10 percent jump each level um and that just sounds about right anyway for these calculations in this video i'm actually going to be going off of the fact that it would be taking 65 percent less damage because again we don't have any accurate numbers at the time um but i'll be giving you guys a couple of scenarios to kind of keep in mind so scenario number one you and an enemy drop at the exact same location and both pick up the exact same gun for this argument, we're going to be assuming that the bullets from that gun, whichever gun it is, deal 35 damage per shot, which is pretty common in any Call of Duty game. Usually bullet damage ranges from 30 to 40 or so, depending on the gun and whatever. But again, we'll assume 35 is the average. Next, before you and the enemy engage with one another, your enemy picks up a trauma kit and uses it effectively boosting their health up to 200 whereas you still have 150 health yourself however you pick up a level one body armor which reduces the amount of damage you take by 40 
percent next you and your enemy get into a firefight you are guaranteed to win every single time because it takes not one but two extra bullets to kill you compared to your enemy so what does this mean so the enemy with 200 health uh, assuming that you're dealing 35 damage per bullet you divide 200 by 35 and you round up because you can't have a fraction of a bullet uh, that means your enemy requires six bullets to kill them whereas your your player who has 40 percent less damage taken from the enemy's bullets means that their 35 damage per bullet is actually reduced to 21 damage per bullet so if you take 150 divide that by 21 and round up because it comes out to 7.14 you take eight bullets to kill so where your enemy dies from six bullets you die in eight and why is this a problem well first off that's crazy uh second off level one body armor is common and third off body armor is equipped instantaneously whereas trauma kit takes time you actually have to hold down the trigger until the bar fills up and then you will get trauma kits 50 uh health boost whereas picking up level one body armor it's common it's all over the place and it's an instantaneous better perk it's just better to have tier one body armor than it is to have a trauma kit now of course they stack so you could have both but still it's ridiculous to think that something that you can pick up instantaneously is more powerful like significantly two bullets is a lot right if it was one bullet or whatever is it's close right because you could just miss one shot but it's two your enemy you have to miss two shots before it's an even even chance right so it's just it's insane and that's only level one that's only level one body armor we're not even talking about level two or level three assuming level three reduces the amount of damage you take by 65 percent which again uh, it's a little bit changed now um but we don't have specific numbers that would be equivalent to 571 health which is insane we haven't seen somebody eat that many bullets since modern war fair three's juggernaut kill streak assuming 35 damage per bullets and rounding up of course that means you will be taking 17 bullets with trauma kits and a level three body armor now assuming that they lowered the effectiveness of from tier three body armor from 65 percent damage reduction to 60 percent damage damage reduction again assuming you have a trauma kit on you still take 15 bullets to kill that's ridiculous 15 bullets to kill an enemy that's insane now again i understand that this is supposed to be a part of the game where you know body armor is common enough to where you know if a lot of people have it then it's kind of fair but again that's not always going to be the case it's not always going to be the case where the enemy uh you know you have body armor and the enemy doesn't or the enemy has body armor and you don't that's still pretty common and the other thing that it does to the game not only does it slow the game down but it makes snipers kind of useless right because if you see an enemy across the map and there's only 25 players left in the lobby right there's only 25 people left so you know that the person that you're shooting at most likely that you see in your scope has body armor because the game has been going for at least like 10 minutes or so so they've gotten probably at least one or two kills and come across multiple buildings and multiple opportunities to find body armor so you know going into the interaction that the person you're shooting at most likely has body armor it would be rare for them not to that far into the game so what do you do with your sniper nothing because you know that if they have body armor you can't one shot them so if you shoot them then all they're going to do is hide behind a rock regen and now they know your approximate location uh, and there's nothing that you can really do about it so it's kind of stupid to even carry a sniper around especially late game because there's no use for it you can't one shot people maybe with a headshot um but again at long ranges in this game it's no longer hit scan there is bullet drop so you actually have to really get a headshot and calculate if they're moving it's it's almost never gonna happen right even great players uh it's gonna be very difficult to do especially if they're running uh, around trees and rocks and all the different hills on the map and inside buildings and stuff like that it's gonna be very difficult to guarantee a headshot so it, you're most likely not gonna take the shot anyway for fear of not wanting to be seen or found or whatever the case is so really body armor makes snipers useless same thing with shotguns right you have to melt people uh, in order to even win any gunfights because of body armor and I want to reiterate the fact that body armor is equipped instantaneously with no downsides there's no downside to equipping body armor and I think there's a couple of things that they could do to make body armor more balanced for one they should be maybe louder right 
if your enemy has tier 3 body armor that means their armor is thick and heavy and big right they're probably going to be making a lot more noise than somebody with level one or zero body armor maybe they are moving slower right they could make the movement speed slightly lower for people who have body armor on because they're carrying all this other stuff now these two tweaks aren't the greatest right because everybody knows that sound in this game is already busted they really need to fix the sound a lot of times you can never hear your enemy it's ridiculous they'll come right up to you and shoot you they don't have dead silence you can't hear anybody except your teammates and they're way too loud it's kind of annoying so sound is already busted also a lot of times the game is slow there's a slow paced gameplay especially mid game um so slowing down characters would just make it even slower and bring it to a crawl snail pace and people don't want that people want the game to be fast paced and fun so again that's not a very good fix especially because with body armor if you move slower you could just camp out in a corner or something like that and that's hardly a a hindrance so in conclusion is body armor overpowered yes absolutely for sure no doubt about it all signs point to yes it is basically proven this is a ridiculous uh, addition to uh, a battle royale mode should it be removed from the game no i don't think body armor should be removed from the game uh, but would be nice is if it was severely nerfed right i don't think that you should only have 150 or 200 health in a battle royale because at that point it's basically just multiplayer with a lot of people and that's just ridiculous because you could get melted or shot across the map or something like that so there should be armor that you have to work towards and find but it should not make you take 17 bullets to kill like that is insane so with other battle royales like fortnite and things like that there is an armor system and it works great in fortnite it doubles the amount of health that you have so that means in this game if we take that same concept uh then armor should give you no more than the an equivalent 400 health but as it stands you're getting 571 if it's 65 percent reduction of damage with tier 3 or you're getting 525 if it's a 60 percent reduction so no matter what it is you're getting an insane amount of uh health equivalent with tier 3 body armor and i think the tier system isn't very good um i think the way fortnite did it does it is way way better and that's not me being a fanboy because you guys know i'm not a huge fan of fortnite as it is but their armor system is sincerely it is very 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 good compared to call of duty uh call of duty really messed this one up i don't know what like them saying oh we want to be careful with it it's like nah no no you, you don't have to be careful with this one it's pretty uh it's pretty clear as day that it's overpowered so yeah hopefully they fix it for the official launch hopefully they hear the community saying hey what is this this is not fun this ruins the game what are you doing uh and they go ahead and patch it for the official release that's about it for this video guys um i just want to let you know if you have any really cool gameplays or any cool clips that you want me to use on my youtube channel let me know on twitter just shoot me a dm at xomniarch and uh, if it's good enough, we'll work something out where I can use the footage and the gameplay and also give you a shout out in video, obviously not just in the description. It would be both. And that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.